today is shakers and our book is called the very grouchy ladybug how do bugs help us now when i think of bugs i think of bugs with wings and sometimes i think of the creepy crawlies this song is about a creepy crawly but you don't have to be scared because it's an itsy bitsy spider take your hands and make it itsy bitsy spider have it go up and have it go back down and let's sing together the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. And now we're gonna have our spider grow into a big spider like a tarantula. The great big tarantula went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the great Big tarantula went up the spout again. And now we're gonna make a teeny, 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 tiny spider, so tiny you can barely see it. The teeny, tiny spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny tiny spider went up the spout again. Now we're gonna sing one more version and this one has a little surprise at the end. So listen carefully. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain, but it didn't wash it out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider was stuck in the drain. Hello everybody, it is Teacher Matt. Welcome to the Music and Movement Room. Are you ready to move? First, thank you Gabby. Second, we're gonna sing about grasshoppers today. Can you jump like a grasshopper? Can you hop like a grasshopper? Start slow and we'll get faster. Are you ready? We'll start with five. Five green grasshoppers sat on some grassy burrs eating the most delicious. Uh, what do grasshoppers eat? Uh, hang on, sorry, be right back. What do grasshoppers eat? Uh, oh, great. <laughs> Ready? They eat leaves. Okay. One jumped into the air, flew far away from there. Grasshoppers only left with four. Let's go, let's go, grasshoppers. Four green grasshoppers sat on some grassy burrs, eating the most delicious leaves. Yum, yum! One jumped into the air, flew far away from there. Grasshoppers only left with... How many? Three. Yeah, we're counting down. Five, four, three. Here we go! 
Three green grasshoppers sat on some grassy burrs, eating the most delicious leaves. Yum, yum. One jumped into the air, flew far away from there. Grasshoppers only left with five, four, three, two. Jump a little higher and faster. Two green grasshoppers sat on some grassy burrs, eating the most delicious leaves. Yum, yum. One jumped into the air, flew far away from there. Now there's only grasshoppers only left with one. So faster and faster and higher. Oh, one green grasshopper sat on some grassy burrs, eating the most delicious leaves. Yum, yum. She jumped into the air, flew far away from there, and now there are no more grasshoppers. That was some fast jumping. Now, the question for today is, how do bugs help us? Like, how do bugs, how do grasshoppers help us? Man, I have no idea. <gasps> Wait, but I bet, you know what? This sounds like a question for... <laughs> Hi everyone, Professor Matt here the right answers to the right questions. Today's question is, how do bugs help us? I think that's a good question. It's just very broad. And so I'm gonna to need to give you more than one answer. In fact, I'm gonna give you three answers. Number one, bugs pollinate things like fruits and vegetables and flowers. You know what that means? It means that if the bugs weren't there, we wouldn't have any of those things. So next time you see a flower or eat a vegetable, you can remember to thank the bugs for it. Number two, they eat dead plants and animals. Uh, yuck, <laughs> but for bugs, it's really delicious. Now, if we didn't have bugs to eat dead animals when they die or plants when they die, we would have a bunch of dead things lying everywhere and the world would be, that would really be bleh. You know, then we would have to clean them up or maybe eat them ourselves. But fortunately, we have all these bugs that do it for us. Isn't that great? Number three, we get really useful products from bugs. Like, can you think of one? Something that bugs make for us? Did somebody say honey? So there's honey, and there's also silk, real silk. And sometimes you get a really nice colored dye, like red dye or blue dye from bugs, as well as some vaccines. Not the current ones for the coronavirus, but other vaccines might have little bits of bug in them. If you wanna know why, that's another question for another time. There are three reasons I just gave you why bugs are really important and helpful. I hope that was good for you. This is Professor Matt. <laughs> with the right answers to the right questions. See you next time. Goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye for now. Goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye for now. See you. Have a good See one. You next time.